Welcome back to Make Play Treasure. Today we're reading Werewolf, Therewolf by Kyle Sullivan. Little Red is heading to her grandmother's home. Not paying attention, she's starting to roam. Oh no, Red wandered beyond the safe and soundtrack. She's surrounded by wolves who can't wait to attack. So many wolves, every type, shape, and size, all eyeballing Red with carnivorous eyes. The biggest and baddest steps out from a tree, but Red is distracted. She still doesn't see. Hello, Red, said the wolf. It's a wolf, said Red. Red trembled and shivered and muttered and fled. She shuddered and dropped down and tried to play dead. Then a bright, helpful thought popped into her head. She stood up, faced the wolf, and smiling, she said... Beware, wolf. There's a werewolf in the woods nearby. It'll gobble you up in the blink of an eye. The wolf flattened his ears and scratched his, at his head. And snarling and snapping and growling, he said, The werewolves are scary. They are very rare. So where's the, there a werewolf that I should beware? In these woods, said Red with a confident air, A big scary werewolf is lurking somewhere. But I know all the wolves from far and from near. So which is the werewolf that... This wolf should fear. Is the werewolf that bear wolf who's shaped like a square? Or the hairy bear wolf who's half work and half bear? Half wolf and half bear. Not a chance, said Red, like she barely could care. These aren't scary werewolves that you should beware. Is the werewolf the flare wolf with fairly long hair? Or the rare fairy air wolves who fly in a pair? No way, declared Red as she played with her hair. These aren't scary werewolves that you should beware. The barely there wolf who floats in midair. The gothic glare wolf with sadness to spare. The merry care wolf with much love to share. No, 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 said Red, finger wagging in air. These aren't scary werewolves that you should beware. Where, said the wolf with a skeptical stare. Where is the werewolf that I should beware? The wolf studied Red and he tapped on his head. Then snarling and snapping and drooling, he said, I nearly was scared, but now it is clear there is no werewolf for this wolf to fear. Don't you dare, wolf, said Red. Stay away, stop there. You better leave now. I'm not kidding, I swear. For I am the werewolf that you should beware. The wolf beheld Red and whimpered with dread and quaking and shaking and sniffing, he said, How terribly scary, how very unfair. To think you're the werewolf that I should beware. Then grandmother came with a sack on her back. She said, Red made a friend and I brought a snack. Red said, there, there, scared wolf, please don't despair. Though I am a werewolf, I'll still treat you fair. She smiled and reached down and patted wolf's back. When you see a lost kid, don't stalk or attack. Don't harass or scare them. Let them pass and take care. For they may be a werewolf that you should beware. Sure thing, Red, the wolf said while shaking his head. From now on, I'll just eat these dog treats instead. The end. Hope you enjoyed that book, and remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with our reading events and activities. Catch you next time on Make Play Treasure. Bye!